I'm in Greenhead Park in Huddersfield, just around the corner from my house. It is Sunday the 20th of November 2011. An extraordinary foggy day, as you'll see from the photographs and videos. Um, I'm here testing the YB. Maybe it's just as well it's foggy, so that the people walking about have less view of this strange man wandering around talking to himself and plugging in some serious electronic equipment in the middle of the field. I've come here to test the YB, let's see what signal it gets here. Um, I'm particularly interested in doing it here in the park because this park is in between two, I think, well, it's in between a sixth form college and an FE college. And in the summer months, certainly, it's always full of students. And for a long time, I've been hoping, trying to interest somebody in providing Wi-Fi in this park. I think it would be ideal for the students to sit here and work in the sunshine in the summer months, but so far I've had no success. So I've brought the YB here to see if that might be a solution to Wi-Fi connectivity in public open spaces. I've connected it in to an inverter which is plugged into a 900 amp battery jumper and it seems to be working pretty well. I'm going to test the connection speed of it very shortly. Um, and see what connection speed we're getting. But I think Wi-Fi connectivity in public parks, I know it's happening in the United States, I know companies like Google have been involved in providing it. Let's have some here, please. I think it's absolutely essential. Sorry about the quality of this video, but I'm just going to walk away from the YB to the point where I actually lose the Wi-Fi signal. We're out in a wide open field here, and Still have signal at this point. Still have signal. Um, you might be able to hear in the background the sound of the miniature train chugging around the park. Still have signal here, it's getting fainter and fainter. Still have signal and at this point the signal goes. Um, I'm actually quite close to some houses and I'm picking up Wi-Fi signals from those houses. Including an open one, which will be interesting to see if I can get into that one. But um, it might be that those signals are stronger than the YB signal and therefore have conflicted with it. But this was the point at which I lost signal. I says, you can just see in the distance. I'm doing this on the iPhone so I can't zoom in. Um, but I'm not sure how far is that. 20 yards perhaps, maybe 30, I think it shows that if you would, now I, I'm sure you would get a better signal and it would cover a wider area if you stuck it up high somewhere but I'm not able to do that at the moment, um, probably shows you want to cover a big area you need several wide bits, but uh, Still fairly impressive. I'm sure I could go the same distance in any other direction. I'm not going to do that now, but probably could go picking up the signal again. Could go in any other direction and get similar results. And here I am, back at the YB, and the train's going past in the background. I've now done the speed test for the YB out here in the middle of the field in Greenhead Park. 2.04 meg download, 1.65 meg upload. Pretty decent stats. Not as impressive as some I have had with it, but I think that would do out here with some brief surfing emails, checking your Facebook status um, that students might want to do out here in the park. Pretty impressive, I think.